Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to talk about how to configure and manage global variables in BWC. In older Tipco versions, we had an admin interface where we can change the values of global variables or with the help of app manage commands and configuration XML files. When it comes to the content addition, we don't have an admin GI or app manage commands. Instead, we have a YAML file which we can use to manage the GVs. So YAML file is same as like uh, XML or JSON files. The YAML is become widely used format for writing configuration for many different DevOps tools and applications. So it's important to understand the details and syntax of the YAML file when you work with the containers or in the cloud environments. I'm not going in detail about the YAML file in this video. I will do another video on the YAML syntax and details. Okay, so in this video, we will discuss about the below topics. How to configure global variables in BWC, build Docker image, deploy the application in Kubernetes. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and support for more videos like this. Also, please provide your feedback and suggestion in the comment section below. So in order to show you the details, I am going to walk you through a very basic application which has a timer process and log activity, which is enough for the purpose of this video. The timer runs every 50 seconds and write message in the log file. Later we will change this message using the global variables. The application started fine. The log the hello message as is configured. What we are going to do is we will create two module properties to manage the messages. Here, notice the data type of the variable I created. I will tell you why this is important. Once the variables are created, we need to create a profile for the application. Profiles are basically a different set of values which can be used in a different environment. For this one, we will create a prod and set profile. We can set different values for each profile and while deploying, we just need to mention which profile the application need to use. If you don't mention anything, it will use the design time values. When you create module properties, you need to consider two cases. One is the value which we might need to change frequently, like a trigger prime or the enable debug mode. For these values, variables, you can give reference like this. And we can use this reference variable in the YAML file to change the values. And the other type of values, which only change with the respect to the environments. For example, you will be having some set of values for the production and some set of values for the certification. So this kind of thing can be handled using the profile, like a database URL or EMS URL. So the variables are created now. Let's go ahead and map this variable to the input log. But as you can see, the variables are not listed in the data source like in older version. In BWC, we need to do some additional step to show it here. For that, click anywhere in the design window and click on the process properties and add a new property. And then default value selection select the module property. It will list all the module properties which have the same data type as you selected. If you select an integer type, then the module property will list only the integer values. I mean the integer variables. So if you don't see a variable here, which you created it because of the data type. So 
So I am following the same for the second variable as well. Now the variables are visible in data source and we can map the values. So now we have completed all the application logic. Next step is to build the POM file. So the, this option will be available only if you have installed the Maven plugin. So here I am selecting the deploy option as Docker. So here we have two options Docker and Pivot. So I am going with the Docker. I left the default values as it is and we can click finish on it. As you can see, it created two property files. These files are useful when when we configure CI CD pipeline script. For this session, we don't need to use, use this. So let's go ahead and create the ER file. So the ER file is created. Now we need to create a docker file to build the docker image. So the image is created. I already created a base image for Tipo BWC. If you don't know how to create the base image, watch my video on how to build BWC base image. The link is in the description below. Okay. So let's go ahead and run the docker build command. For that you need to go to the directory where the docker file is created and run the docker build command. As you see the build is successful. Now let's go ahead and deploy it in Kubernetes cluster. Like I said before, to deploy an application in Kubernetes cluster, we need a configuration file which is in the YAML format. For this project, I have already created a YAML file. The only thing you need to notice here in the YAML file is the image name which I created. I will create another video to explain the YAML files in Kubernetes. To deploy the application, go to where the YAML file is created and run the kubectl command. As you can see, the deployment is created now. Let's see the application log. As you can see, the BW profile is set to the default as we didn't provide any values in the YML file. The application started fine and logged the hello message. Now, let's go ahead and set the profile to prod. For that, you need to we give some additional variables in the YAML file. So that's done and let's go ahead and deploy it. As you can see, the previous port is deleted and created a new port. Let's see the logs again. So the profile is set to prod now. But the application fails to chat with the BW log does not have a value. This is because I missed to provide a value for the reference variable which I created in the prod profile. If you have set a reference variable in a profile, you need to make sure those variables are created in the YAML file as well.
So here I am using the minus f to take the logs like we do in the Linux environments. We can see the same logs on the Docker desktop as well. Now it's logging the value from the YAML file as you can see. So it's log this message as we configure in the YAML file. If you want to change the profile to the set, all you need to do is go ahead and change the BW profile to set and deploy it. So that's all for today guys hope you understand how to build the bwc with global variable and how to use in the yaml file if you like the video please subscribe my channel for more videos like this also please share your feedback and suggestions in the comment section below thanks for watching